Hello everybody and welcome to the Netbird channel. With version 0.60 we have an exciting release for you and that is Native SSH, a new identity aware approach. This identity aware SSH comes with native open SSH support and allows you to authenticate using your IDP with standard SSH commands. Access is controlled by explicit policies simplifying onboarding and offboarding and improving security. Traditionally, managing SSH access requires collecting public keys from every user and manually injecting them into a authorized keys file, adding major complexity tracking across servers and removing those keys when people leave or no longer need access. If you have frequent team changes, dozens of servers, this just becomes an operational nightmare. Our old model was easy but limited as it was a pretty straightforward approach. All you needed to do was actually enable SSH with a simple toggle in the dashboard and then on the clients. This was machine-based access, so if a machine had network access, it had SSH access. And actually using this through Netbird required either the Netbird CLI or our browser-based SSH client. This worked great, but there was a lack of flexibility. Teams want to use tools that they already know, their native SSH clients, existing scripts, and familiar workflows. And that is why with this update, we rewrote our SSH from the ground up, adding native OpenSSH integrations meaning you can run standard commands that you'd expect, such as SSH, user, and your peer name. Netbird seamlessly integrates with OpenSSH through automatic configuration, handling authentication, and server direction transparency in the background. And this allows us to incorporate identity-based authentication, meaning when you log into a machine with SSH, it now will require you to authenticate with your IDP. You simply copy and paste the URL in the terminal, log in with your IDP, and Netbird handles all the authentication. This is great for administrators because it enables audit trails, so you can see who exactly connected to what. You can manage this all centrally through your existing IDP if you use one. Like I said earlier, it enables automatic offboarding, so you can easily strip access to any users and groups from SSH on whatever machine you want. And now this works with conditional access policies and the Netbird posture checks adding an even higher level of security so you can make sure that your team members are in a specific region, running specific operating systems, or even running specific processes in the background on their machines, which all can be configured in a new policy, which is gonna be required for SSH access. So all you do is make a new policy, add your source, which is the people you want to be able to connect to SSH, add the destination or the machines that will be receiving the connection, allow the port 22 on TCP, name your policy, and from there, you're good to go. Well, almost, as this is a breaking change. By that, I mean if you update 2.60 and you have existing infrastructure with the 0.59 release, it is not going to be able to connect and vice versa. So the general order of operation, first, if you're on self-hosted, you're going to need to update your management server to 0.60. And then from there, you create those access policies that we just talked about. Next, you're gonna to want to update your SSH server peers, so the machines that people are gonna to connect to. And then finally, have everybody update their clients, so the machines that people are gonna connect from. And the beautiful thing, since this is using OpenSSH natively, you'll have support for SFTP, SCP, port forwarding, so telling services securely through your SSH connections, and non-interactive command executions. All this is cross-platform, so you can get started today no matter what machine or platform you're running on. And better yet, if you want a further deep dive down below, we are going to link to the Knowledge Hub article, if you're not already on it, in which we'll go over some of the under-the-hood technical architecture, if that's something you're interested in checking out. If you want to get started right now, we will link to the documentation as well. And quick note, if you go into your Netbird management dashboard here, select up here and hit enable SSH access, we have a new workflow right here, helping actually walk you through the entire process. And with all that, we do hope you have a beautiful day and goodbye.